Don't want to sit inside even though a storm is coming? Okay. This happened to me a few years ago and I just remembered it recently. I was working at a restaurant waiting tables in a very affluent area on the Jersey Shore. We had our fair share of entitled people who were under the impression that if you throw enough money around you can do whatever you want and treat people however you want. And when your income depends on their tips, you kind of just have to deal with it. The restaurant had an outdoor dining and bar area that overlooked the ocean with an amazing view. During the summer this was pretty much where everyone wanted to sit rather than our indoor dining area. And for anyone who works someplace with outdoor dining, you know the one monkey wrench that can ruin a very profitable dinner shift. The weather. No matter how accurate the forecast says it's going to be, you can never know for sure. For the most part we never had an issue. Because if it started to abruptly rain there would usually be more than enough room inside for all. The people who were sitting outside to move it. It's usually a clusterfuck to keep track of which table moved where. But we always handled it without any issue. Until that one day. We had a large party booked one day in our indoor area that took up more than half our tables. A 50th birthday I believe. So our indoor capacity was limited. And even on top of the party. There were customers who were weary about the weather so they decided to sit inside also. And then. More and more people started sitting outside. My manager did a quick assessment and realized that. If it started raining. We would barely have enough room inside to accommodate everyone who was sitting outside. He told us we had to stop seating our outdoor area and to start recommending to our outdoor tables. To move inside because of the impending weather to be on the safe side. Everyone's weather app was saying there was a downpour coming up the coast. Dot. Everyone was okay with it. Except. I had a table of nine people who seemed fairly middle-aged and very wealthy. Margaritas with top top shelf tequila gaudy looking jewelry etc etc each end of the table seemed to be in their own conversation not paying attention to the other upon hearing about the incoming rain i go to the woman whom i thought was in charge she had the fakest tan of them all and i tell her let's call her karen ma'am i'm really sorry but because of the weather coming in and our limited seating inside I'm going to have to move you folks inside so you don't get caught in the rain. This Karen is so entrenched in her conversation she doesn't even register that I, a lowly waiter, was talking to her. So I try again. Ma'am I'm sorry for interrupting. But. She cuts me off exasperated. What? What are you saying? I begin again. Ma'am I'm sorry because of the weather coming and our inside filling up. We need to move you inside. We have a table ready for you. I can move all your drinks and everything for you, she snaps back with, the only reason we came. Here was to sit outside. We'll deal with the weather. I realize she doesn't grasp what I'm saying so I try again. Ma'am. Just in case the, and then she goes from zero to a hundred and yells, we'll fucking deal with it. She yelled so loudly that the people on the other half of her table heard. They didn't hear our prior exchange but only heard her outburst and went back to their conversation. Assuming this must be normal behavior for her. She wants to deal with it on her own? You got it. So I began to take their order. Filet mignons. A few lobster tails. Expensive shit. I put the order in and I look back and all the other tables had moved inside. Because they all were rational human beings. And my table of nine entitled jerks were the only ones out there. I heard the leathery looking. Karen say to the rest of the table. Wow we have the entire patio to ourselves. What luxury. After a while I looked inside and saw that the table I had held for them was taken by another party that had just walked in. The last available table. 
dot, and just as the last butt hit the seat. I felt the best feeling I possibly could have felt at that moment. A glorious raindrop tapped on the top of my head. Oh sweet glory. Within seconds it went from beautiful blue skies to torrential downpour. Everyone at the table grabbed their drinks. A little watered down at this point. And ran inside. After they shook themselves dry. They looked around and realized there was nowhere for them to sit. Most of them looked dumbfounded. Like a lost child in a supermarket. Karen makes a beeline to me and screams, we need a table. Quote dot. I reply. I'm sorry ma'am. We're fully seated and on a wait for our indoor seating. Maybe one table on the waiting list. But a list is a list. Well what are we supposed to do now? She hawked back at me which led to me so eloquently saying, ma'am as you said you would. You, fucking deal with it. I air quoted the, fucking dealing it, to really emphasize that that was her response and as I said that everyone else at the table realized that was our interaction. Earlier and Karen had dug their graves. I felt bad for most of them because if they had all known the circumstances they probably would have convinced Karen to move in. But after she raised her voice and cursed at me, all bets were off. And as serendipity would have it, at that moment their food came out and we handed it to them. There they were. Nine people in damp clothes holding a Cosmo in one hand and filet mignon in another with nowhere to sit to eat. The rest of her party convinced her just to get some boxes for their food and pay their check in. Leave. As I hand Karen the check. She smugly says, well this will be reflected in your tip. To which I replied, ma'am we implement a 20% tip on parties of 8 or more. It's our policy. And it's clearly stated in our menu, she paid and then they left with their boxed up food leaving. Behind their half full drinks. Best $60 I ever made. Edit. I definitely got the numbers wrong with how much they tipped and what not. It was a while ago. All I remember was the satisfaction. Ma'am we implement a 20% tip on parties of 8 or more. It's our policy. And it's clearly stated in our menu. Way to just stick the landing. That was so satisfying. What a great read. I laughed out loud when you found the queen bee by a tan lineup. Don't fuck with the people that handle your food. It's a simple rule and yet people seem determined to break it in every way possible. That was a satisfying read. Well played. Glorious, glorious, glorious. When the chips were down, you raised the stakes. Dot and I wonder, still I wonder, who'll stop the rain? Well this will be reflected in your tip. And rightly so. How dare you not stop the rain from falling on Karen's head? It's all your fault. Seriously. People. You need to figure out who can influence what. Raindrops start falling on their heads. Of course that means that Karen's face will soon turn red. Nothing's good enough. No. Raindrops keep falling on their heads. They keep falling. So in my younger days after a long day of drinking a few friends and I went to a barbecue place to eat and sober up it was within walking distance from where I was so it was perfect. After ordering the waitress says it's gonna rain and if we would like to come inside. It was way too hot in there and was giving me the beer sweats so I said I would deal with the rain. It was summer after all so was hot outside too. After I got my food the downpour started and I just sat out there eating my pulled pork sandwich. Without a care in the world. Wait staff tried to get us inside but like a reluctant group of huskies we stayed outside. After we were done went inside paid and gave a good tip since our waitress came out in the rain to check on us. I can't believe you air quoted, 
we'll fucking deal with it. Or I should rephrase. I do believe it. But it's awesome. D. I had to work a shift at a high-end celebrity outdoor burger joint at the Venetian pool on the Vegas Strip. We had a forecast for rain. The manager refused to let us close until it actually rained and forced me to keep on accepting tables, claiming that if I warned them then it was on them. I remember the last table that came in scoffed at my warning even as we could see the storm moving in claiming we are already in bathing suits and wet who cares about the rain i placed their burgers and fries down right as the downpour really started like desert flash flood type of downpour their burgers were instantly in a half inch of water just like i predicted every one of my tables sprinted inside and abandoned their food and any thought of paying when the rain hit my manager claimed it was my responsibility to make sure the customers paid and I needed to make up for it all. He didn't back down until I finally agreed with him and stated my intention of walking into the casino sopping wet and tracking down every one of my customers and physically dragging them back to pay for their wet food. I told him I would tackle anyone who refused, as they were stealing from my pocket. The numbers don't really mean much at this point, it's the satisfaction that counts. We have the entire patio to ourselves. What luxury. I can't quite explain why. But this right here gets under my skin so much. Spoken like a true entitled piece of shit. Nice work. Op. You did everyone a favor that day. I hope you made more that $60. $300 divided by 9 people is $33 per person which ordered filet mignon, lobster and top shelf drinks. Please tell me where I can get this kind of food for that kind of money. Dash. Yeah. I'm probably the only one doing the math here. One of the best, purest MCs of red. Congrats. I'm glad that this worked out for you. Did she make the threat? I won't ever come back here again? Cause I'm sure you would be thinking. Don't threaten me with a good time, hee <laughs> hee. Nine people drinking top shelf and ordering filet mignon and lobster tails and their tab was $300? They got off easy. When he wanted to move her party inside. It would have been so easy for her to say, we're not sure the rain is going to come before we're finished. Can you hold that inside table and let us stay out here until it rains? We'll deal with it and bring our food in if it happens. And yes, this will be reflected positively in your tip. Quote. Thank you for sharing that hilarious story. My sides hurt from laughing so much laughing face. You can't put a price on satisfaction. 1 or 100. That satisfaction is worth more and lasts so much longer than the money. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.